Bob Shalom. Shabbat Shalom to everyone. I believe I am live. I do believe I am live. So Shabbat Shalom to everyone. I don't believe no one has came into the service as of yet. But I thank God that I'm here. And this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and I will be glad in it. Hallelujah. Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom. I know last week my wife was telling me that um, I know last time I was on, last Friday, Rev Shabbat, I think I did quite a bit of yawning. The old boy was tired, and the wife even said, she told me, I think, one point, she said, at one point, I, I nod at all. So I do apologize for that. Um, and prayerfully, that would not be the case on tonight. So we're just going to wait a little bit for different ones, a couple to come into the service. Give one time, give some time to come into the service. Amen, amen. I know over here in the Petersburg area, it's raining on the outside. Um, but thank God that we have a shelter, amen. Thank God for his provisions. Amen. We thank you, Father, for uh, the provisions. Thank you, Father. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom, Sister Lisa. Shabbat Shalom. Good to see you, dear. Shabbat Shalom. Welcome to the service. Amen. Amen. Shabbat Shalom. Yeah. I'm going to maybe wait to maybe uh, one other or two other to come into the service, and we're going to go ahead and get started. Definitely good to see you, Sister Holloway. Good to see you on this Erev Shabbat. Amen, amen, amen. I'm just thankful to be in the house of the Lord one more again. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Uh oh, y'all. Look at that yawning again. Nah. No, we ain't even gonna go out like we ain't gonna go that route this week. Let me see if I can X out this thing. Get this off the screen. Expand video. Now this thing is saying expand video. I don't know what that means, but I think I better leave it alone. I don't wanna do nothing. Um to create some turbulence that don't need to be created. Amen. So, yeah. Just gonna wait a, another minute or so to give some of the other saints or whoever desire to come into the service. Yes, that's my wife yelling in the background. Yes. Amen. Can you hear me? Okay, amen, amen. Shalom, 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 KJ Robinson. Shalom, shalom, shabbat shalom, shabbat shalom. Can y'all hear me good? Can y'all hear me good? Type of, type of one in the chat. I know you're a couple seconds behind me. Type of, uh, type of one in the chat, if you all can hear me good. Um, I know y'all are 
Thank you, thank you, Sister Lisa. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Well, we're going to go ahead and get started. Father God, we thank you, we bless you. We thank you, we bless you, Lord God, for this Erev Shabbat. And gracious God, we do come in the name above every name. That is Yahshua HaMashiach, Jesus the Christ. We come in his name, his name alone, Lord God. First of all, Lord God, we come repenting of all our sins, gracious God. Gracious God, we repent of every known sin and every unknown sin. Of every and anything, Lord God, that we may have done. Every and anything, Lord God, that we may have even entertained. Lord God, things done, entertained willfully. Or even, Lord God, unwilled, Lord God. Anyway, Lord God, we have, we have missed the mark. We have missed the desired goal that you had for us. Father, anyway, Lord God, we've erred, Lord God, in our decisions. Lord God, we ask right now in the name of Yeshua for forgiveness. And we thank you, Lord, for forgiving us. We thank you, Lord, for your mercy. We thank you, Lord, for your grace. For your forgiving power. But we couldn't make it without your forgiving power. We couldn't make it, Lord God, without your mercy. But we do thank you and we bless you that we do have it. And, Lord God, and it is a part of our salvation walk, gracious God. And, gracious God, we thank you and we bless you, Lord God, for this Erev Shabbat, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, for bringing us into your temple, into your presence. Lord God, where the two or three gather together, you are in the midst, Lord God. And we are the called of one. We are the temple. We are the church beyond the walls for we know that the actual church and actual temple is not the building it's the people so we thank you Lord God we thank you that the church has come together the temple has come together Lord God by way of this zoom tonight Lord God by way of Facebook <clears throat> and Father we thank you Lord God for all those that have come and all those that will continue to come tonight and those that may be watching later on Father, we pray, Lord God, that the most important thing for anybody, Lord God, that could ever tune in to this teaching or to this service, the most important thing that they could ever do, myself could ever do, anybody watching now or watching in the future could ever do, that is accept Yeshua, Jesus the Christ, as Lord and Savior. And Father God, I pray right now, if there's anybody that's going to be watching right now, or watching, Lord God, later on, the recording later on. If you have not made Yeshua, Jesus, the Lord and Savior of your life, if you have not accepted him as Lord and Savior, I encourage you to do the greatest miracle you could ever do. The smartest, bravest, miraculous thing you could ever do for yourself. That is accept him as Lord and Savior. If you take your last breath right now, can you say that heaven or that the new Jerusalem on earth will be your eternal state with our Lord and our Savior? If you can't say that with a surety, but you want to make that so, repeat after me. Say, Lord God, come into my heart. Come into my mind. Come into my soul. Lord, I repent of all my sin. And I ask you to save me. In Jesus the Christ's name. Yeshua HaMashiach's name. I ask you to save me. I accept you as Lord and Savior of my life. And I thank you for saving me. If you pray that prayer, your soul is right. I encourage you to seek the face of God that he lead and guide you to a temple, to a congregation that he will lead and guide you in your spiritual walk. Hallelujah. Father, we do pray Oh God, for the peace of Jerusalem, we pray your shalom rest there. We pray more. That we pray for more of your people in the land, Israel, who have not yet confessed Messiah as Lord and Savior, that they would do so before they take their last breath. 
We pray for even the non-Israelite in the land and out of the land that they will accept you as Lord and Savior for they take their last breath. We do pray for the peace of Jerusalem. We pray, Lord God, on this Shabbat, that souls be saved, living, and set free. And we be ever so careful to give you all the praise, glory, and the honor. It is in your sure name we pray. Amen. Amen. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom, Pastor Vicky. Good to see you. Amen. Amen. Shabbat Shalom. I don't know why my voice wants to start acting like it want to get kind of scratchy all of a sudden. But prayer for this lemonade will take care of that. But amen. Well, hallelujah, hallelujah. We're going to get right into um, our A Rev Shabbat service. Thank you. Thank you, Pastor Vicky. Get ready to our Rev Shabbat service. Um, Y'all bear with me for a minute. I'm going to see if I can find. Yeah. I want to try to get my hands on this dry erase pen just in case if I um, do some dry erasing. Amen. So yes, I'm glad that we are here tonight. I'm glad that you all have came into the service and we I pray that uh, as you rest today, or for those that, you know, uh, you know, keeping the Shabbat, um, and, and if you're not keeping the Shabbat, but um, the children of Israel on the sixth day on the sixth day, the children of Israel received, received double. God permitted double to, like the manna and stuff, to fall. Excuse me. On the sixth day, so that they would have more than enough when they rested on the seventh day. So I pray that for you that's watching. I pray that you have more than enough on this Sabbath day. I pray that you have more than enough in the spiritual dimension. Hallelujah. I pray that you have more than enough in the mental division. I pray that you have more than enough in the physical division. I pray that you have more than enough and the financial division. I pray as you on the seventh day that you have that you have more, you have increase on this seventh day. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. All right. Well, any questions? Let's start like this. I don't know. Uh, I know I see. Uh, uh, let me see. Let me see. Let me, let me, let me take a peek here to make sure I'm looking at it. Y'all got to put my headphones on, y'all. Uh, I see Sister Lisa uh, yeah, Robertson. That's the right, J.K. Roberts. Yeah, J.K. K.J. No, I'm sorry, K.J. Roberts. My bad, my bad. I see it's Lisa, K.J. Robertson, uh, Pastor Vicky. I don't know who else may be on, but anyhow, uh, I'm I'm going down a list of names that I see. Um, I don't know if anybody have any questions, any topics that come to mind, any questions come to mind. Uh, if not, any questions that come to mind. I know y'all a couple of seconds behind me, so I will wait. Uh, a couple of seconds to see if somebody putting the questions in there. Um, but um, if not,
if not, then um, we will um, definitely move forward as we believe the Lord is leading. I tell you, it's really, it's really a lot that we could just sit in this midrash. Midrash means research, means search some out, study some out, look into something. Uh, amen, Mother Fran. Amen, amen, Mother Francis. Shabbat shalom, Mother Francis. Shalom to the greatest pastor in the universe. We love you all, and God love you more. Hallelujah. Thank you, thank you, Mother Francis. Good to see you. Shabbat shalom, Pastor Vicky. Not for you are waiting. Uh, uh, waiting. Did you have a opportunity to review what I sent? Yes. Not not all of it. Yes. 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 Pastor Vicky. Yes. Uh, not not all of it. I started watching it some more. Yes, but not all of it. Um, and wow, you know what? Uh, when we get a chance, I you know I, I would definitely want to start sharing some of those things. Okay, amen, amen, amen. Thank you, thank you, sis, thank you, sis Kim. Amen. Now, there you go. Y'all know y'all got to help the old boy out. You know I be turning names up. Y'all know ain't nothing changed about me. Now I know exactly, I know exactly who that is. Go ahead on, sis Kim, amen. <laughs> go ahead on, good, good to see you, sis Kim. Good to see you, good to see you. Definitely good to see you. And you know, you, hey, and sister Kim, you know what you 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 know what you know what uh name is on the tip of my tongue, right? On the tip of my tongue back in the days that that, that I used to call you. I don't wanna I don't wanna say it I don't wanna say it on <laughs> on Facebook 'cause um I don't know. Just because but 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 you know you know you know the you you know how we used to kick it and um y'all know, y'all know I just be straight up. I say some weird stuff, interesting stuff, you know. Uh, you know, but I don't want to put her on blast like that. But definitely good to see you, Sister Kim. Definitely good to see you. Um, but anyhow, we have Mother's Day coming up. Mother's Day coming up. Um, part of my um, Shabbat message tomorrow um, is going to be talking about Mother's Day. Mother's Day. Amen. Talking about Mother's Day. And um, this girl here. Yeah. <laughs> my wife off the media, y'all. My wife, my wife, my wife is off the chain. The chisay. Um so yeah, talking about Mother's Day. And uh, that that's going to be part of the Shabbat message or the Shabbat message tomorrow at the temple, um, unless the Lord changes um, that message. Um, and as of right now, it's going to go a little bit something like this. Let's go to Genesis chapter two. Let's go to Genesis chapter two. Genesis chapter 2, verse number 24. Now, I believe that this is uh, the first time or the first place in the Bible where you will see the word mother. Where you will see the word mother. You know, y'all can fact check me on that. Fact check me on that, meaning... Uh, confirm that I am right, uh, that this is the first place in the Bible where you will see the word mother. Um, type of one in the chat, if that be so, while I look for something here. Type of one in the chat, um, if this is the first place you see the word mother in the Bible. Uh, 
man, where in the world? Okay, thank you, thank you, Sister Lisa. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Thank you, 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 Sister Lisa. All right. Oh, shalom, 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 Akituda. Thank you. Shabbat shalom, Sister Suda. Good to see you. Thank you, Sister Robinson. Uh, 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 Kim. Sister Kim. Thank you, Sister Kim. And I can say Robinson. Now, now I know what I'm talking about. All right. Um, uh, hold on. Okay. Now, here we go. So. Okay, so now let's look at, um, give me a minute, y'all, give me a minute, give me a minute, let me see something here, I just want to get something straight here real quick, give me just a minute. Okay, y'all, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. We're going to take off in a minute, y'all. Okay. All right, here we go. 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 All right. Let me. I know I keep saying here we go. Y'all bad with old boy. I'm almost there. So we'll talk a little bit about mothers. A little bit. I'm going to continue this message. Or not continue, but I'm going to speak tomorrow as well. Uh, about mothers. Um, okay. All right, here we go. Genesis 2, chapter 20, chapter 2 and 24. Therefore shall a man, shall a man leave his father. And his mother, and shall cleave unto his wife, and they shall be one flesh. Therefore, shall a man, that word man, there is the word ish in Hebrew. Leave his father and his mother and shall cleave unto his wife and they shall be one flesh. So we see and we believe that this is the first place in our Bibles where the word mother is mentioned. 
Now, we see here that the man or a man is supposed to lead his father or Abba and his mother and some may pronounce that as Ima or M. The root is M and we're gonna look at that root in a minute. Or Ima or Emma for mother. And shall cleave unto his wife. I know I'm starting to talk about mothers, and this is supposed to be the topic for the night. But I'm pausing for a reason, y'all. Thank you, Pastor Vicar. Therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother and shall cleave unto his wife and they shall be one flesh. That young man, according to the scriptures, supposed to get to an age that he is ready and able if if he can physically and mentally and all that factors in, because we serve a just and a fair God, if all that factors in, then his mental capacity, his physical capacity, you know, all that's working, you know, and, and operating, you know, then this young man can get to a point in his life that he is to leave his parents, his mother, his father, and get him a wife and cleave to his wife. Houston, I think we got a situation in some some time. The Bible says, as I uh here we go. Let me find this real quick. This was not prepared. This is one of the most important laws as a necessary foundation in all Torah marriages. Amen. Hallelujah. Absolutely, Sister Absolutely. Absolutely. Let's go to 1 Corinthians chapter 13. First Corinthians chapter 13. I know we're talking about mothers. But, and we're going to look at this word mother in the Hebrew just a little bit. But mothers, we pose to be prepared to let our children, our sons, cleave to his wife. Mothers, you can't run your son's house and your house too. No. See, there may be some son that's still nursing off mama's breast. Yes, grown men. I don't mean literally got her breast in the mouth and I'm not saying not to honor and love and respect mama and do for mama I'm not saying none of that but but the Bible said that a man supposed to get to a point in his life that he leave his father and he leave his mother and cleave to his wife 
and some mama don't want to let the boy go. Some mama try to rule his house with his permission and her house. You know what I mean by he still got the breasts in his mouth. It's time to man up. It's time to man up. It's time to man up. Sometimes you do more harm than good, mamas. Whew. I mean, back in the days, I was so, I thought I was so smart. So clever. I was living a life, neighborhood pharmacist. Call myself storing the items in a certain place secretly. Call myself so smart that I had a place I could store them and Nobody know. I ain't know that mama had her eyes on me. Mama had her eyes on me. And mama was a praying mama. She's still a praying mama. She's a praying mother. She knew I was making decisions, making choices. People back then knew that that boy was off the chain. That boy was doing something. That's all right. But you couldn't tell me nothing. Couldn't tell me nothing. Started growing a little mustache. I don't think I had a beard back then. Had little arms under my, little hair under my armpits. Couldn't tell me nothing. So I want to be, I want to be known in the neighborhood. So I started making choices and started doing things and Call myself slick, hiding this and, and disguising this, not knowing mama, watching. Long story short, I didn't notice to after the fact. I didn't notice to after the fact, Pastor Vic. I didn't notice to after the fact. Mama praying to the Lord. I ain't notice. I, mean, I know she's a praying woman. Don't get it twisted. But I found all this after the fact, and you're going to know what the fact is in a minute. Praying, praying, praying. And I heard later on after the fact, you know, when I had to talk with her, she told me that she began to tell the Lord, Lord, whatever that boy doing, whatever he doing, whatever he doing, Lord. Lord, I pray to come to a stop. So I'm putting in my words. Pray to come to a stop. I ain't no mama watching me like that. I ain't no mama observing me like that. And I ain't no mama praying like that. All I'm doing, rolling. But she prayed a prayer, Lord, whatever that boy doing, I pray it come to a stop. Now, she ain't praying for death. She ain't praying for death. Thank God she ain't praying for death for her son. But she knew that that boy won't do us all right. Not trying to justify it. Not trying to sugarcoat it. Not trying to dress it up. She went for the Lord. I said, Lord, whatever it is, I pray it come to stop. I ain't know that was in her prayer. All I know, from when I'm told later, a couple days later, I'm sitting behind it. I'm sitting in the back seat of the technical car. <laughs> I'm sitting in the back seat of a detective car going to the precinct. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. They rolled up on the old boy, and the old boy was dirty. And that started the ball rolling right there. Got locked up, 
went to prison. But my mama, my mama prayed to the Lord that, Lord, whatever that boy doing, I pray it come to a stop. And just to show the Lord answered my mama's prayer. His show came to a stop. So he pulled me over and I got arrested. She didn't approve of it. She wasn't happy about my choices. She didn't try to dress it up. Oh, you know, no, 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 no. Accomplishing this gives respect to Elohim Yahweh and then down the low hole. Hey, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. So she prayed for me. And then I ain't know I was going to do this tonight, but I'm just going to do it. I ain't prepared. What I have here in my hand right here. Now, I'm talking about a mother. Now, 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 now watch your mother here. Watch your mother. I ain't know I'm going to go this route tonight, but I'm going to go here tonight. Maybe this helps somebody. See this right here? See all these pages right here? On this yellow, what you call what kind of paper you call this? Yellow, yellow business paper, whatever you call it. I went to prison in 1991. I remember it was February, February of 1991. I was still 20 years old. I got locked up in February 1991 at the age of 20. I turned 21 March of 91. So I was I was in jail, prison from February of 91 until 14 months later, 13, 14 months later of 92. So I did about 14 months, give or take, can't remember exactly. But I came out, I know I came out and I was 22. Went in at 20 and came out 20. My whole 21st year, I was locked up. My whole 21st year locked up. But while I was locked up, my mama and, you know, young lady, you know, dating, you know, had women in my life and, you know, kept in contact and me contact with her and all that good stuff. But now I tell my mama. My mama and friends of course, other family members, but my mama wrote me almost every week, maybe even a couple of times in that week. The whole time I was locked. The whole time I was locked up. Praying for me, writing me, supporting me best she could. And I was writing to her. I was writing to her. And she kept all these letters. All these letters that I wrote her. She kept them. She kept, so I got some notes here, and I think one day I'm going to write a book. I, I've been talking about this for a long time, just to schedule and permit. One, one day I plan on taking these, these letters here, these letters here that I wrote my mama, and she kept, she kept them. When I came home, she gave it to me, and I've been having it ever since. I think I might, I might write a book with the schedule permit. But I'm just showing this 
as to show a mother's love. A mother being there for their children no matter how old the child is. Thank you, Pastor Vicky. Thank you. A mother being there for a child, for their child, that don't mean they justify the child's wrong. That don't mean they approve of it. That don't mean they're okay with it. But that mother's love, you can't touch a mama's love. I'm going to tell you right now. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, Pastor Vicky. Keep me in prayer. I might do that. Matter of fact, I might just read one page out of here. Yeah. I might just read one page out of here tonight. What time is it? Oh, Lord, it's almost 8 12. No, I ain't gonna do that to you. I ain't gonna do that to you. But um, I'm saying that to say this. Mothers, you are there for your children. Mothers gonna always be a mother to the child, no matter how old the child gets, because you still get older than the child. But we gotta make sure that we are not causing more injury to the child and not letting that man or that female right now I'm talking about the men man up and be a man man up and be that responsible male hey amen she said, don't we? Okay, thank you. She said, she'll wait for the book. Amen. So, we, and this is to the brothers that may be watching or watching later that still want your mama breast in your mouth. Whew, I know that sounds kind of rough right there. This is for the brothers who still trying to nurse from the mama's breath. And that don't mean mama ain't gonna be there to help you get you, you know, get you through rough times and you know prayer for you, financial, all that. I'm not saying none of that. Please don't get that wrong. Don't get that twisted. I'm talking about I'm talking about that kind of relationship where you won't man up and take the responsibility as a man. And man up as a man and get off your mama's breast. The word, the Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 11. 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 11. I know y'all a couple seconds behind me. Do what the Bible says. First Corinthians chapter 13, verse 11. When I was a child, I speak as a child. Come on now. Come on. Come on now. Mm, mm, mm. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Sister Kim. Mm. Thank you, Lord. When I was a child, I spake as a child. I understood as a child. Come on now. Thank you. Thank you, Pastor Vicky, for putting that in there. When I was a child, I spake as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child. It's time to man up. It's time for the mothers to even encourage. If you see your son, if you see your daughter, and you clearly see 
that they are not developing into responsible men and women is your motherly responsibility to redirect that course. It's your motherly responsibility to uh, take them by the hand. Let me see, what, what, what's the seed wrote there? Gave us sisters the blessings of being his vessel as a mother, as a mother. And yes, Moray, this love and assignment is for life. Just as our, uh, amen, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Sister Susan. Watch this now. When I was a child, I spake as a child, I understood as a child. I thought as a child. But when I became a man, come on, mamas. Let them let them men, let them sons become men. And I'm not holding you responsible. I'm not saying it like that. I'm not saying it like that. Because he's a grown man, he makes his own decisions. But we posed to grow up. But when I but when I became a man, I put away childish things. The Bible said, when I was a man. I put away childish things. You happen to guide your children even as they get older. Even sometimes showing tough love. You still functioning as a mother. Okay, let's go back to Genesis. back to Genesis. Let me see. Chapter 2. Because we're we going to take a peep at this Hebrew word here. Genesis 2, 24. Therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother. That word mother there, the Hebrew word am. Am. And I, I spelled it out. And I'm going to write it up here so you can see it. With mother. Okay, here we go. This is M. Olive. And a final mill. Olive. And a final mill. This is olive. And a mill. M. And in the paleo, this is a picture of an ox head that represents strength. That represents, because the ox is a very strong animal. So it represents strength. The ox, all of it is a picture of an ox head that represents strength. And the mem is a picture of water. It's a picture of water, moving water. So you got so you so you got an ox head that represents strength, power. Then you have water that represents liquid, liquid, fluid. So when you look at the etymology of M for mother, 
Aleph Mem, M, you have a strong, powerful liquid. Strong liquid. See that? Strong liquid. So how is the mother function as strong liquor? So what is strong liquid? Glue. Strong liquid, strong liquid, fluid, is glue. Glue. So the etymology of this am is glue. A strong, strong, a strong backward liquid. So now, what does that mean? Here we go. What does somebody take glue, a strong liquid, and they put it on paper, put it wherever, what is the function? It holds it together. Come on now. Come on, mamas, get this. Get this, mama. Your, one of your many functions as the mother you are the one who is key in holding things together. Come on. I pray you hear me. You are the glue. A good example would be like crazy glue. Or that gorilla glue. That strong liquid. Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom, Pastor Maria, good to see you. Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom. Wow, good to see you, so good to see you. Mother, you are that strong liquid. You are that strong fluid. That holds things together. You are the one that's a key role in holding the family together. Come on, mamas. You can do that even for your children when they move out your house. You don't never stop being a mama. I told you my mama writing. I told you my mama wrote me almost every day, at least, at least a couple of times a week, because that was that glue. Y'all better get this thing here. Type of one of y'all getting this thing. Type of one. Mama knew. I was wrong. I won't. I didn't do right. I it landed me in prison, but Mama was still that glue to help hold me together. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, mm, mm, mm. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. That don't mean she approved. Hallelujah. Thank you. I feel it, Lord. I thank you. That don't mean she was pleased. That don't mean that she was happy about my choices, but she was still mama. That glue. Because see, I don't care how old you are. I don't care how old you are. If you got a mama that's living, mama still that glue. Mama still that glue. Watch this. Let's say, for instance, if mama... If mama physically or even mentally right now can't do too much for you physically and mentally. Let me show you how, this, how mama still that glue. Because when you look at mama, you remember mama fed your butt. Mama clove your butt. Mama held you when you were sick, hallelujah. And you know, like, like, daddy, daddy can hold you all day long, but it's different when mama holds you. Type of, type of two, if you know what I'm talking about. Type of two is, that, that, that ain't throwing dad on the bus. But I'm going to tell you, it's something about, it's something about when mom, that baby can be yelling, that baby can be screaming, that baby whatever, whatever. But when the baby get in the hands of mama, oh, little something different start happening. Come on now. 
Mama that glue. You still that glue, mama. You still that glue for that man when you take your breast out his mouth. Ooh, that boy done said that. Y'all going to call my mama and tell my mama I said that on Facebook. <laughs> y'all know y'all got to pray for me. Y'all got to pray for me. Y'all got to pray for me. Mama. What come to my mind right now, that song, my mama prayed for me. Had me on her mind. Took a little time and prayed for me. Mamas, don't stop praying for your children. Hallelujah. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank, thank you, Sisu. Mama, don't stop praying for your children. I don't care what age they are. You steal that glue, mama. You steal that glue. You steal that glue, even if you can't physically do nothing. Even if you had the mental ability, ability to do nothing. You steal that glue. Why? Because them children can remember. Them children can remember. And mamas, I'm going to even encourage you to even create memories for your children. Create memory for your children that they can pass it on to their children. Come on now. Hallelujah. Come on, mama. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Happy Mother's Day to every mother. I know that Mother's Day is a tradition that came around, I think, the 19, early 1900s, something like that. I probably got the lady name. By the name of Anna Jarvis, I believe that's who it was, that started Mother's Day. And she did it in memorial of her mother. Her mother was a big woman, uh, not big woman, but a woman that really support women and so forth and so forth. So this young lady, I think in 1907, I think it was. Let me see. Because this this is getting to the Mars message a little bit. Uh, I think, yeah. Nine, I think May 12, 1907. Yeah, May 12, 1907. This woman by the name of Anna Jarvis. You know, you can find online. She, because her mama, and I appreciate her mama, she started doing something in memory of her mother. And that's what birthed the Mother's Day. So there's nothing wrong. See, there's nothing wrong with good tradition. As long as your tradition, as long as your tradition, oh, oh, now, 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 they're the greatest mother-in-law right there. Now, don't y'all, now, don't y'all ladies up here get twisted? Don't y'all mamas get in your feelings? Don't, don't, don't. Don't get on, don't, don't, mama on there. Yeah, don't, don't, yeah, don't, now, don't, now, all the ladies, all the mamas, all the mother-in-laws, don't, don't, don't get in your feelings when I say this. Don't close down the laptop or the phone and get off Facebook when I say this. But the greatest mother-in-law that came in, that's, that's my mother-in-law, Miss Hamer. Good to see you, Miss Hamer. Good to see you. The Good to best see you. mother ever. Oh, Lord. And, he, and he, she done came in here. And then and, and here she comes. I had to jump on and say happy Mother's Day early to the best mother in the whole world. Yes. The strongest woman I know. We, now, we love and appreciate you, Mama. Now, now, I, now, now, I, now, I'm not going to put, I, I don't want to, I hope this ain't going to embarrass uh, my mother-in-law, but I got to say it like this. Me and Tamika been married, what's going on, what, 20, 24 years? Did I get that right? 24 years. And my mother-in-law, in these 24 years, she don't get in our business. No. She don't get in our business. She don't create no, she don't create no drama for my home. And I thank you, I thank you, uh, Ms. Hainworth, thank you, a beautiful mother-in-law, precious, and I would encourage any mother up here. She gave you the greatest, greatest wife in the world. And that, now see, that, now they got her daughter in the background talking about, best, she gave, best she gave me children. the greatest woman in the world. She, she did, best she did. The best mother to your children. The best mother, y'all hear in the background, the best mother, that's right, that's right. Keep talking. That's, now she's saying, keep talking, she said, keep talking, keep talking, keep talking. But anyhow, 
But mothers, you don't stop being a mother. No. There's nothing like a mother's love. Mother like a mother's love. Mama gonna be oh you know, you know, you know back in the days, back in the days growing up, you know, we'll say something like, you know, we'll say something like, you know, you you how I many y'all back in the day, all oh, praise to the most high to the blessed uh womb. Ah, amen. And train them up to stay in Amen. Absolutely, Sister Tudor. Absolutely. Beautiful. Absolutely. Absolutely. How, how, how many of y'all back in the day, how many back in the days, y'all, did, did y'all ever play this game here? Uh, wait, wait, wait. I guess it won't, it won't be a game, but you take, you take a, uh, you take a stick. This, this is a pencil. But you t and I want y'all to type of one if y'all did this. Take a stick and you put it on your shoulder like this. Put it on your shoulder and you tell the person, you know, if you knock if you knock that stick off the person's shoulder, that, that that's like a sign of it's gonna be on or something like that. How many are, how many have we done that before? How, how many have we done put now, now, now I don't now I don't know where that tradition anybody know where that tradition came from? Put in the chat if y'all know where that tradition came from. Or do y'all do y'all even know what I'm talking about? Do y'all even know what I'm talking about with, with, with when they back in the day you could put a stick on I don't know where that came from. I hope we're none we're none strange stuff, but y'all help me with that. But you put, you put a stick on your shoulder and they say knock that stick off. Not that stick off, and, and, and as soon as somebody knock that stick off, you going in. How many y'all? How many y'all know something about that? Talk to me. Okay, they go. Sister, Bob, uh, Sister Kim know about that. She go. She or they geeking. Who 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 else know about that? Who else know about that? Now I don't know. I don't know where that came from. I don't know who started that tradition. <laughs> I don't know who stuff. Sis Kim, you, Sis Kim, you must really remember. She don't want to put them in the chat. She don't want to put them in the chat. I, I know, I know we used to do that stuff. I don't know where it came from, where it started, who started it. But but I said to say this. I said I'll have to say this. Back in the day, we'll say something like, you know, they ain't mind you talking about their daddy. You can make a joke about somebody's daddy. You can make a joke about somebody's brother. You can make a joke about somebody's sister. But no, nah, bro. You don't joke about mama. Oh, no. How many remember that? Now, nah, come on. It's beautiful to hear this, Moray and Sister Tamika honoring Mother's Day. Mother, amen, amen. Thank you, thank you, Sister Susan. How, how, how many of y'all remember that? No, nah, back in the day, you could talk about daddy. You can talk about brother. You can talk about sister. You can talk about your boy. You can be talk, somebody can talk about your boyfriend. Somebody can talk about your girl, girlfriend. But what bad that come out your mouth? If you say something about mom. Matter of fact, I think I think I think they used to say something like you say something about mama. That's fighting words. How many of y'all heard that before? Say something about mama. That's fighting words. So, <laughs> Sister Kim, you know I be tripping. Mama's mama, y'all. If you got a mother, try to contact your mother's mother. Try to. If she's passed on and going to glory, Honor her. Memorialize her some kind of way by just even on Mother's Day saying, Lord, I thank you for the mother that I did have. I thank you for what she imparted into me. They have made, molded, and made me to be the mother that you are today. Honor her that way. By saying kind words about her. Even maybe sharing with somebody about your mama. You are the glue mother that holds the family together. 
that hold the house together. You are that strength. You are that strong liquid. You are that nurturer. That a child needs at any age. At any age. Can remember, as the child gets older, you get older. So it's going to be the same amount of years in between because you still mama. You still mama, whether you can do something for that child mentally, physically, financially, you still that glue because that child going to remember you. That child memory of you at key times will help keep them focused. Create a memory for your child. Now, see, I was looking this up about the piece of wood placed on one shoulder. Did, uh, did you find something, Pastor Vicky? Did you find something? How, how many of y'all, I know, I know Sister Kim responded to that, but how many of y'all remember that? How many of y'all remember that, that, that wood on the shoulder thing? Put, put, put a type of two in the chat. Let me, let me close out this thing that came up on my screen here. Type of two in the chat, if y'all remember that. Type of two in the chat, if y'all remember that, that um, putting that. Okay. Okay, Urban, okay. Urban Dictionary. This has gotten lost in all the false meaning. A chip on his shoulder comes from the days when there was a formal decoration for a fight. What? Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me see. Urban Dictionary. This has gotten lost in all the false meaning. A chip on his shoulder comes from the days when there was a formal declaration for a fight, punch up, etc. When a person disagreed strongly with someone over a personal belief, they would, okay. Thank you, Pastor Vicky. See, I ain't know that. See, I, <laughs> wow, 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 that's something, that's something, and that's what made, when I thought about that, thing about back in the days, when, when, when you know, we'll, we'll say something like, you know, you know, you can talk about anybody, but don't talk about mama. I encourage every mother to enjoy your Mother's Day. Prayerfully, you know, you will have a, a nice, memorable one. If you are a mother, I encourage you, if, you, if able, to reach out to your mother. If, 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 you're, if your mother's still living, yeah, if your mother's still living, I encourage you to reach out to your mother. And if you are a mother, prayerfully, your children will some kind of way contact you. Contact you. Um, so, that being said, I've had a great time. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Pastor Vicky. Pastor Vicky, everybody have mother. I've had a great time, and I encourage all you mothers to have a great Mother's Day, and uh, enjoy yourselves. And before I close. If there's any mother that may be watching now or they may be watching this later on and you have not made Jesus the Christ, Yeshua Mashiach, Lord and Savior of your life. Great. It's great that you're mother. That's great. It's blessed that you're mother. You know, you know there's some some women don't get the opportunity to have children. I'm not one to elaborate on why that's so for, for, for women. Uh, it's not the case for everyone, of course, but some, you know, um, 
the Lord knows. But I say it to say this. If you are a mother, that's great. Good. But that is of no value to you. That is of no advantage to you. Or greatest or greatest importance to you if you have not accepted the issue of Jesus the Christ as Lord and Savior. Great that your mother. Beautiful. But the most important thing that you could do in this Mother's Day season, if you're a mother, and not if you're a mother. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Pastor Maria. My strong blue is in heaven still keeping us together. And amen. Hallelujah. Happy Mother. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Pastor Maria. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Shabbat shalom. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. And see, I'm glad she said because she, I'm glad she's sharing it because she has the memories. The memories. And that's why it's important for the mother to create memories with your children. Intentionally do it. Intentionally create memories for your children. Because that's going to help mold and make your child. That, that, that's going to help them to be uh, better parents. That's going to help them to develop uh, uh, better and strong relationships with the children. That's what it's going to do. So if you're a mother, create create memory. You 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 initiate it. You 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 initiate family coming together, family meeting, family whether it be FaceTime, where you know, you, you you initiate because you are the glue. You are the glue. You are the glue. Hallelujah. You are the glue. But the most important thing that glue could ever do, that mother could ever do, is receive Messiah Yeshua HaMashiach. And that goes for men as well. Men as well. I don't want to leave the men out. Or young boy, young girl out. That's the most important thing you ever do. So let's make sure that your eternal state is secure with the Messiah. And you can do that by repeating after me, saying, Lord God, I repent of all my sins. And I ask you to come into my heart. I ask you in Yahshua, Jesus' name, to save me. Come into my heart into my soul, come into my mind, I repent of all my sin, and I ask you to save me in Yahshua, Jesus Christ's name, I pray, amen. If you prayed that prayer, your soul is right. Now I would encourage you to seek the face of the Most High and ask Him to lead and guide you to a Bible teaching rooted ministry that He can lead and guide you in your spiritual walk. I'm going to close with the priestly blessing and we'll be going for the night. Er Adonai Penevaleka Vikuneka Is Adonai Penevaleka Visim Leka Shalom. May Yahweh bless you, may Yahweh keep you. May Yahweh lift up his face and cast upon you. May the Most High be merciful unto you and bless you with Shalom. In the name of the Prince of Shalom, Yahshua Mashiach, Jesus Christ. Amen. Shabbat shalom. Till next time. Love you all.